people. I want to say thank you for being here. This is uh, Energy Vibration Full Moon Reading for um, the Air Sign, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Okay, guys. Alrighty, we are back, aren't we? Merry Christmas and to whoever. Um, these are timeless readings, air sign people. This is for um, the Geminis. This is definitely for the energy for the Gemini Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Okay, so whatever is transpired, Gemini's <laughs> um, Aquarian, Gemini's in Libra. Okay, so what is happening for you guys? Um, we are going to be taking a look and looking at all. The at all the fire signs and what is transpiring and happening in your life and what you need to look out for okay now um i've changed up my readings and why have changed up the readings is because i think that it is easier um for you guys to understand it this is the month of december and it's kind of easier for you guys to understand when we um do the the separation of uh, the sun moon and rising sign so what i'm going to do um in the beginning we're going to be looking at the sun moon and rising sign people um and then we are just going to be looking at just the general because uh, each and every one of you have uh, and is dealing with uh, um um the energy of changes that is coming up for you guys okay so um life is full of surprises ladies and gentlemen i can really tell you that and there's like a lot of surprises and a lot of situation that is going to be coming up for you guys so um be aware of this okay so i saw someone left me a comment on um on the page about um something about this reading okay so whatever is happening in transpiring if you'd like to find out the extended of these readings um you definitely have to check out the on demand under the link or you need to join um my channel to receive the extended because each and every person the gemini have their own expanded the Librans have their own extended and the Quarians have their own extended, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be going here in and we're first going to look at the sun sign people. Um, the message for you guys is that open your heart to love. Whatever is transpiring, it's about opening your heart to love. Now, what I'm really going to do and um, this is going to be... What I'm really going to do is that I'm going to see what you guys are coming in with and go back and check out the on demand reading to see what came out for you guys because that is what we're looking at. So if you were born um, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., let's check out and see what is coming up for the sun people, okay? Let's check out and see what's coming up for the sun people. And this is for the air sign people. So I like to um, clear my energies on my card because whenever I finish um, doing an element, I always change the element, um, the energy on the card. This is really for the Aries, the Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. So um, do not leave this reading after you have um, listened to your moon sign or sun sign because uh, after the reading as a general that is going to be telling you about what to expect okay so first we're going to be dealing with the sun sign people now um um the situation is uh, um with the sun sign people um let's see what is what is affecting your lives okay what is affecting your life because um we're going to be looking first at the sun sign so if you were born between the, the time of uh, um if you were born at 6 a.m to 6 p.m we're going to be checking out and see what is happening okay so we see you um having to deal with relationships okay so the two of cups is coming up this is the energy of relationships is coming up and then you're dealing with uh, 
whoever is married I'm seeing uh, issues coming up in the marriage okay and then we have some of you dealing with inner strength some of you could be dealing with issues that have to do with relationships uh, okay so this is what is coming up issues to deal with relationship seeing the truth of a situation okay and finding strength to deal with your partner and situation in relationships okay so um um really um these issues and situation that is coming up is all about relationship it's all about you um in a relationship with people and what is transpiring in your world because we're seeing the two of cups is that some of you could be uh need to communicate in your relationship that is coming up some of you are dealing with um you um um men 45 years and older you're dealing with an issue you need to communicate because you're not communicating properly with your wife okay some of you um communication is not there in your relationship so you air sign people communication is missing strength having strength to deal with a young taurus virgo or capricorn person whoever this person is i see some of you trying to find strength to deal with this person this person is coming up as a child then we see that some of you are going to be turning your back to a situation and leaving a situation okay so whatever it is so I'm seeing you trying to protect yourself protect yourself from some um, situation that is transpiring so protection is coming up here for you your assigned people that was born between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. so I'm seeing there is um, um, an, um, a missing link for communication in your relationship so um, definitely some of you who are just in relationship not married you're not communicating clearly um, there is some deceptiveness that is going on but you're going to be finding out so some of you could be finding out that your partners are cheat cheating on you okay so some of you could find out that your partners are cheating on you um, if you're married I'm seeing um, some of you could be divorcing or the law is on you and your relationship okay so um, like if you're married they're trying to figure out why um, you're married that sort of a thing is happening for you guys so you've got to be aware of that some of you are trying to find the inner strength to deal with a child or a person between the age of 18 and 45 that is uh, um, you're trying to find inner strength to deal with this person whoever this person is and I'm seeing some of you if you are married or you had a child with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person I am seeing that um, this person is coming back up this could be your partner and you have a child with this person that is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and I'm seeing this this man is trying to communicate with you and said hey we have a problem with our child we need to resolve this issue seeing the truth of a situation that has to do with a um, a Aquarian so you Aquarians might be seeing the truth of a situation that a, um, um, a cancer or a scorpion has created in your life okay so what I'm seeing here is some deceptiveness in um, relationships so some of you are going to be finding out that your partner could have been cheated or there was some deceptiveness on the, on the part of your partner or yourself um, in marriage marriage or not looking so good some of you could be divorcing because I see judge um, justice on top of you especially you men 45 years and older you could be dealing with some legal issues I'm seeing justice is not coming out in your favor because it's in the reverse form um, some of you who have a child with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn I'm seeing this is coming out and there is um, a situation where some of you need to really um, connect as a parent to deal with this child um, I'm seeing um, the truth coming out about a scorpion some of you Aquarians who were dealing with a scorpion the truth is coming out go and use the link or join my channel to go and get the extended as you join my channel you don't have to pay anything you just join my channel and you pay the um, the money for the subscription and that's it you can watch all these extended okay so um, relationship problems problems in marriages is coming up um, people um, having a problem with their kids some of you 
um, multiple opportunities is going to be coming out and seeing some of you are going to be seeing these opportunities coming at you okay alrighty let's move and check out the moon sign and remember your extended reading um, to this um, full moon reading this full moon reading is from the 15th of December until the 15th of January so whatever is happening and transpiring my glasses is always so <laughs> um whatever is happening and transpiring you have to really go with it and find out the truth of issues and situation so that you can resolve these okay so the energy of the moon is coming up and with the energy of um the moon is for the people who were born 6 p.m to 6 a.m so let's see what's coming out for the hair sign people who were born um 6 p.m to 6 a.m so burdens are going to be over okay and some of you uh, might have to pay out some child support okay burdens are going to be over but some of you might have to pay out some child support so um don't forget that this reading is for um this reading is definitely for um um the um gemini uh librans and aquarians okay the princess of pentacles have to pay you some money whatever is transpiring i see the energy of the tower is coming down now this is a young person so it could be a child for some of you there could be some issue with your child i'm seeing money is going to be coming in for some of you whatever is transpiring i'm seeing money is coming in for some of you whatever at transpire i'm seeing money returning to you um some of you might have to be paying a Capricorn back some money however that is because I'm seeing a situation where some of you had got caught up in a situation okay so my hair is all over so what we're looking at here ladies and gentlemen is that some of you could be paying out some child support that you had not paid okay the energy um, and some of you could be receiving some child support okay some of you are not seeing an issue and a situation that is happening with a Gemini um, you Gemini's you are having a tower moment or a tower moment has happened in your life you gotta be aware of what is to inspire I'm seeing a situation that you Gemini's are dealing with some situation with people in authority so Gemini's be aware of this because you're dealing with some issues with people in authority some of you Gemini's are trying to balance out the situation between you and a Capricorn whatever that is all about you're trying to balance out the situation because you realize that there is some issues that needs to be resolved you could have divorced this person this person could be an ex however this person is playing a role in your life you need to really take responsibility and you need to resolve this issue so I'm seeing some of you could be getting some back money from child support and your burdens is going to be over so your Christmas is looking well I'm seeing a negative forces that is uh, um, as, as if some of you are being um, under the control of negative forces but I'm seeing this is going to be over okay so whatever negative forces that was having you under control um, you air sign people this is going to be over because I'm seeing this is going to be over so it could be um, like you have um, a child mother or father that you need to pay out some money to then I'm seeing some of you liberals need to have some rest. Some of you liberals are having a situation with a Gemini. Whatever the situation is, some of you liberals are having with a Gemini. I am seeing that you, between you and a Gemini or you and a legal situation, a tower moment has happened in the month of November. Okay. Um, then uh, we have some judgment call, whatever the issue is, and the judgment call. I am seeing some of you have some judgment call with the organization institute. Um, it could be that some of you are going to be receiving some money, um, some back paid money, uh, some money what that was supposed to come to you. Um, that someone has tried to intercept. I'm seeing they're going to be finding out what exactly happened. And the money is going to be returned to you or someone who had treated you out of some money um, and this is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius who have cheated you out of some money have to return some money 
now what I'm seeing also is that whatever is transpiring I'm seeing some of you who are in relationship with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius you are definitely going to be ending this relationship with this person whatever has transpired and happened I'm seeing you finding balance and ending this relationship because you realize that whatever that was happening and transpiring between you and this person this person was being very deceptive so I'm seeing issues with children but this is going to be resolved I'm seeing negative forces, especially when you sleep, Gemini. You have to protect yourself from negative forces when you sleep because I see negative forces connecting with you through your dream time or when you're sleeping. So whatever and whoever is doing this, you are going to be breaking it or your spirit guides is going to be breaking this. So sometimes when you sleep with people, they have negative energies or they can be doing something to you when you're sleeping so you gotta be aware of what is transpiring Librans, you are uh, dealing with issues there is um, a tower moment that has transpired you're trying to come and balance out yourself from this tower moment and it's going to be happening I'm seeing some of you uh, might have to pay back an organization institute um for something or you could be paying out child support i'm seeing some of you really cutting off removing an aries or uh, aries Leo or sagittarius out of your life because of some injustice that they have done okay all right let's go and look at your astro clock to see what is coming up these are when we look at each individual house to see exactly what is coming up and what is transpiring so it is um it is really um um you're ending um this year with a lot of strong energies okay your house is the third uh, the gemini's you're in the third house um the liberals you're in uh, the seventh house and the aquarians you're in the 11th house so please remember and i will make sure that you know what is coming up in your house there is the energy of uh, um, different alliance of energy that is coming up and what is going to be affecting you in these houses okay so okay so um, let's um, look at what energy is coming up I'm going to use these because the Queen Cox I use the Queen Cox um, in your reading um, like in your reading because but sometimes people are not knowing and understanding um cuz this this is like you you have to like really know astrolog to understand challenges and that sort of a thing that is coming up okay so all right so let's oops let's see what is happening um for you air sign people for the month of december remember whenever you receive this reading is the time that you should receive it so in the first house and yourself I'm seeing um, you're finding out something about yourself something is happening that you're finding out something about yourself something unexpected happening, and you're finding out something about yourself I'm seeing luck with money coming in for um, you guys in the second house is the house of your money and there's unexpected luck in your um, environment I see a tower moment is coming down Mars is always the tower moment in your environment I see discipline coming in family okay so if there has been some issues in the family I'm seeing discipline and a healing coming in the family Jupiter is in your house of friendship so this is looking good um for you um gemini's you're having a huge um shake up in your world okay elin is coming in in the house of uh, um wellness um anything to do with your body organization purification i'm seeing a elin coming in the seventh house is the house of relationship and partnership you have love coming in and i see that also in the extended reading okay then i see um, the ascendant outlook the missions the world how you look at the world and seeing people are going to be connecting with people um, with investments and that is going to be um, so wonderful okay my hair is all over the place um, then we have 
um, Pluto coming in your house of travel, transformation in your house of travel. Pluto is coming in. Then we see the North Node that is happening in your repetition. So I'm seeing that some of you, um, if you are friends with a Capricorn, a Capricorn is going to bring bring back um positive um 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 positive situation in your your repetition your house of repetition i'm seeing communication coming in the house you aquarians you need to communicate whatever is happening aquarians you really need to communicate i'm seeing that a situation between you um and a gemini is going to be helping you um to communicate clearly what is happening and what is transpiring and then we have neptune um, and Neptune is in the correct house because Neptune is in the house of the 12th house. Okay, so the energy of the 12th house, um, there is just a lot that is going on for you guys. I can't, um, I can't say, um, differently because there is just a lot that is going on with you guys. And Uranus is as if some of you are going to be finding out something about yourself all right so let's look at the houses um um gemini's you're going to be having some e-cups uh, some unexpected changes coming up in your world okay in your environment it could be at work or it could be in your personal life uh, um gemini uh librans love is looking good if you are in a relationship new love is coming in for you and librans that is so good that is looking wonderful in your house okay then as we look at the Aquarians, whatever is happening, Aquarians, you need to communicate because communication is the key. You need to communicate. So let's see who is going to affect you and what is the issue because um, that is going to affect you in the first house. I'm seeing some of you are dealing with an Aries. Some of you are going to be realizing something about an Aries and releasing this Aries out of your first house. Your second house, I'm seeing a Taurus is going to help you to make a lot of money. Whoever the Taurus is, I see the Taurus is going to be helping you to make a lot of money. Then I'm seeing um, you guys, um, uh, there's a legal issue and um, you Gemini's are having a legal issue. Um, for the rest of you, you're balancing out uh, your environment. Liberals, you fall in the house of the Gemini. I see you and the Gemini working out issues and situations, okay? So I'm seeing a tower moment with a legal issue for you Gemini's. Whatever is happening, I'm seeing Mars. And with a legal issue, I'm seeing a tower moment. The scorpion comes up in the house of roots. Some of you, there is discipline that is coming in with the scorpion, whoever the scorpion is in your life and in your world. I see they're going to be bringing back discipline. So it could be a sister, it could be a brother, it could be a mother or a father, but the scorpion is a, a family member is going to be bringing back discipline and seeing you having luck with a Virgo, whoever this Virgo is and whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing you, a Virgo is going to bring you some luck. I'm seeing that a Virgo is going to bring you some luck. I'm seeing Elin in the house of the Virgo. So if some of you had issues with a Virgo, I'm seeing Elin, um, especially the Aquarians. If you had an issue dealing with a Virgo, I'm seeing healing coming up for you. And this is going to be good. As we look in the house of the Librans, uh, I see you Librans are going to be connecting with a Gemini. Whatever is transpiring, you Librans and a Gemini, is could be falling in love or could be getting married okay so the liberals and the general Ge gemini's could be falling in love or getting married but i'm seeing relationship together is going to be perfect some of you could be meeting a gemini or a gemini meeting a libra this is going to be good in the house of relationship and uh, um marriage okay um then we look at the house of intimacy i'm seeing some of you connecting with um with a cancer uh, but um i'm seeing that you guys are realizing that this cancer was not connecting with you for the right reasons and i'm seeing you guys are looking at it and finding out it for yourself and you're going to decide to get rid of this cancer so you ear sign who are dealing with a cancer um in an intimate relationship or scene you're realizing that this cancer either trying um, to tie you down or something but you're realizing that this cancer is very deceptive so I'm seeing you letting go of this cancer then we're looking at Pluto in the energy of transformation um, some of you um, there is an issue um, 
uh, where Pluto, a Capricorn could be coming in and helping you with a situation to do with a transportation. So whatever is transpiring, I'm seeing um, in foreign situation, a, a Pluto could be removing a Cancer out of your a Capricorn out of your life. Okay, um, it has to do with someone who is foreign or foreign things i'm seeing pluto removing them out of your life sagittarius is in the house of reputation a sagittarius is going to try to bring back your reputation in your life um a sagittarius is going to be um showing you your north node and your reputation they're going to be trying to balance back your reputation and bring back your reputation in balance in the 11th house the house of the aquarians i'm seeing some of your aquarians dealing with um a pisces and i'm seeing you communicating with the spices whoever the spices is and whatever is transpiring i'm seeing you aquarian coming in and um trying to balance out the situation with a pisces i'm seeing you aquarians um definitely communication and for most of you here sign um especially when it comes into the 11th house the 11th house which is your sister house of friendship community connecting with groups of people and that sort of a thing i'm seeing that a pisces is going to be helping you the energy um of a leo a lover some of you could have been dealing with a leo a lover this person um tries to connect with you in your dream time i'm seeing you removing this person i'm seeing that some of you had an issue with a leo for the past life a karmatic situation and i'm seeing that you're releasing them now okay so if you it doesn't really matter if you're an Aquar um, Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. You're dealing with an issue with a lover. It could be a lover or a Leo, but you're releasing this person out of your life because you're realizing that this um, situation needs to be ended. Whatever is going on for you guys, I want to say that coming up to the last month and the last month of the year 2019, it is horrible um because a lot of people you're seeing i'm seeing all of this that is coming up for a lot of people it has nothing to do with you guys personally but it has to do with the energies that is coming in it's like a lot of karmas have been is clear and whatever is happening and transpiring karma is being cleared at this moment and it is affecting just about everyone please um join my channel um, because YouTube has changed up and in order to see what is happening for you Aquarians, you Gemini, you Libra, you have to join my channel um, to get the extended reading, okay? Because the platform of YouTube has changed up and it's much better for you guys because you just pay one month abandonment, you can see everything that is coming in, all the extended readings from the month all the full moon extended reading all the extra full moon um perks that is in the channel that you are not aware of um live chats and all of that um pull one card just um you know if you're on a budget for 99 you get all the love readings all the extended readings i love you guys i want to say have a happy holiday my voice is still not back but I'm still moving in. Have a happy holiday. Namaste.